Jag here, and it's time once again for Jag's Jabs. Now, today is not about opinions. Today is about goals. Now, a couple of days ago, you know, I posted a video in line at Bar Wrestling about fitness goals for 2020, of course, with Santino Brothers Advocate class starting in a couple of weeks. The Jag is trying to work out a little bit more, get in the best shape possible before getting there and getting my butt kicked. However, it's not just fitness that I'm focused on this year. It's not just fitness that I'm going to be working on in 2020. And you know what I see when I log on to Twitter from Pro wrestlers and even just pro wrestling fans, a lot of people are talking about their goals for 2020. And so I made a list of pro wrestling goals for 2020. I don't know, probably a couple months ago. I'm a very big, pretty big on goal setting, smart goals, you know, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound, meaning when is this crap going to happen? What's the difference between a dream and a goal? Writing it down and having a freaking plan. So I hesitated for a while sharing the goals that I had for myself because I thought that maybe it was a little too ambitious or maybe people would think the Jag was, uh, I don't know, a little crazy, a little egotistical. I don't ever want to come off like I think I'm better than anybody else or that I think I'm going to, uh, you know, be the hottest thing in wrestling. I do think that I and Pete together is make me a fan, have a lot of potential in this business. I don't know how the business works, so I'm still pretty new and I'm learning a lot, but I hope and based on the people that I've talked to, uh, I believe that my goals are pretty stinking realistic. And so, enough disclaimer, let's get to the Jags goals. Here we go. Pro wrestling goal number one, graduate the Santino Brothers Advocate course. If you don't know what that is, I am not going to wrestling school. Instead, we're going to the advocates class, which is managing and refereeing and producing and backstage and being a commentator and ring announcing, so all that other stuff. So starting January 28th, yours truly, the Jag, and my partner, the Encyclopedia, Pete Treris, we will be going to Santino Brothers, learning about the wrestling business from the perspective of a support player. And so my number one goal is to graduate that class, I believe will be done in July. So that's my number one wrestling goal for 2020. My number two wrestling goal for 2020 is to work as a ring announcer, as a manager, and as a commentator on three different shows after graduating the Santino Brothers Pro Wrestling School Advocates course. So I don't know if that's possible. I believe it is, but I'm hoping that maybe even just working uh, some of the up all night shows at Santino Brothers or some local shows around here, I might get a chance to be a ring announcer. I might get a chance to do some commentary. I might get a chance to be a manager. Of course, the Jag has big goals and big dreams and big ideas for managing. But of course, I heard last night, actually I guess it's two nights ago now, that some people in the business, I won't name name think I should be on commentary. So hey, I don't know, maybe that'll happen. I think the encyclopedia and I together on commentary, him being the straight man play by play and me being the color commentator, I think it'd be a hell of a connection. So my goal is to work in those three capacities after graduating the Santino Brothers course. Pro wrestling goal number three for 2020. My third goal is I would like to work a show out of the Los Angeles area. I don't care where it is. I want to work an out of area show. It could be San Diego. It could be the Bay Area. It could be anywhere, but I'm interested in hoping that I could book a show not in my backyard somewhere I have to drive or travel a little bit to because I think that would be freaking awesome. No, I don't think driving for six hours is awesome, but I do think it would be awesome to have my uh, talents and skills perhaps in demand in an area that is not my backyard. So one of my goals, in fact, goal number three for 2020, three, so you can actually see the numbers, three for 2020 is is to work a show outside of the Los Angeles area. So Bay Area people, Hood Slam, whatever, give me a call. I would love to be there. Um, Obviously not yet. The Jag has to get trained. But that's goal number three for 2020. Pro wrestling goal for 2020, number four, is similar to number three in that I want to work an out-of-state show. Now imagine that. If you had the ability to travel out-of-state to work a show, I don't care what capacity, commentary, um, you know, ring announcing, managing, whatever. I would love that opportunity. So one of my goals is by the end of the year, if we graduate Santino Brothers in July, if I have six months to maybe develop enough skill, enough of a reputation, enough credibility, if you will, to be invited to work a show somewhere out of state. So Future Stars in Las Vegas would be awesome. Uh, Defy up in Seattle, or, you know, I got a, some people down in Atlanta at Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment. I might want to go down there. So that's one of my goals. Goal number four is to work an out of state show. And that one feels kind of lofty, but hey, I'm going to aim high for my goals. 
Goal number five sounds a little crazy. It's very ambitious, and of course, that's one of the reasons why I hesitated posting up my goals because I didn't wanna to get too much heat or too much flack, but goal number five is to work a TV show. By TV, I mean nationally syndicated show, meaning that somebody on the East Coast, somebody in freaking Rhode Island could watch the show and see the Jag doing his thing on commentary, ring announcing, managing, whatever. So it could be anything on IWTV, on High Spots, on Fight TV, um, Beyond, which that would be a hell of a freaking thing. I don't think anybody just graduates and goes to Beyond. Please don't get me wrong. But I don't know a whole lot of East Coast shows, so that's the first one that popped into my mind. But if I could work a show, even Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, that's a nationally syndicated television show that would be freaking amazing to work that show so um in fact i actually met david marquez the other night and that was pretty awesome i didn't you know try to weasel my way into a, a job or anything he doesn't know us and hell i'm not even trained yet but he seemed pretty cool and of course i happen to know the championship wrestling from hollywood champion mr eric watts so that would be a pretty cool thing to work a tv show with them of course i'm not going to rule anything out and of course if you follow the show you know the jag's biggest dream is to work for Impact. Now, of course, WWE is awesome, but Impact is the dream because they are, well, we have a lot of people there that we know and we like their approach and we like what they're doing. So Impact would be my number one choice right now. Of course, I wouldn't tell Vince no if he called, but I feel like if that were to ever happen, which is highly unlikely, it would be way down the road. So uh, that's goal number five, I believe it is, is to work a TV show, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, uh, IWTV, High Spots, Fight TV, whatever. I would love to be on television. So that's goal number five, I believe we're on. So that's it. The Jags Pro Wrestling goal number six is 250 YouTube subscribers. That means you, yes you, watching this right now, hit that subscribe button because right now I believe we have 89 subscribers at the time of recording. I would love to be at 250 by New Year's Eve 2020, which means a bunch of you clowns need to hit that subscribe button right the hell now. It's about two and a half per week if my math is correct. So hit the subscribe button because we wanna to get to 250. Hell, we'd like to get to a hell of a lot more, but I think 250 is realistic and I can't wait to see if we get there. So. That's number six, 250 YouTube subscribers, and hopefully even more than that. <laughs> the Jags 2020 Pro Wrestling Goal number seven, this is the last one on the list, establish a Pro Wrestling Tees store and sell a t-shirt. My wife got me a wonderful sweatshirt for Christmas. I didn't ask for it, she just made it based on a little design I did on MS Paint. Um, I actually posted it on social media, so if you follow at AKA The Jag, you probably saw the mock-up that I posted and you saw the finished product, because my wife is awesome and she got me a sweatshirt. It says The Jag on the front, on the back it says rated PG, prolific and gifted. So you gotta check that out. I would love to have a pro wrestling tee store and have a t-shirt and sweatshirt maybe up there and hopefully get at least one sale. Do I think we can get more than one sale? Hell yeah. But I think being realistic, I want to set up a specific measurable, you know, attainable goal, smart goals. I think one t-shirt is a very realistic goal and I hope we can hit that before the end of the year. In fact, I hope we can hit that by the end of summer, to be honest. Um, I don't know how many commentators or managers or I don't know, ring announcers have merch. I know Kathy Campanelli does. I bought some of her merch in the past. So um, I think once we start working shows, it'd be cool to have t-shirts to sell. And I think that the uh, rated PG shirt is pretty cool. And I'd like to have a pro wrestling tee store because they're the leaders in this industry. And I'd like to sell a freaking shirt. So that's goal number seven. In fact, if things go according to plan, because right now we're, bu yeah, we're building our Patreon, we might actually give some shirts away to new patrons. So that's something that could happen here pretty quickly. But that is it for the Jags 2020 Pro Wrestling Goals. If you are following along and you made it to the end of the video, first of all, you're awesome. Secondly, thanks for your support. Um, we're getting ready to embark on a pretty crazy journey. And of course, you can follow along right here on YouTube and on our social media sites at Make Me a Fan 316 And of course, you can follow the Jag personally at AKA The Jag. Um, I did hesitate before posting this because I don't wanna come off too cocky or too arrogant or too, um, I don't know, ambitious. But I think if you wanna be in the pro wrestling industry, you have to be pretty stinking ambitious. So the Jag is ambitious, but I'm also humble. I know and, and I think I recognize my limitations and I know that nothing is easy, but I still wanted to share that because I think it'll be fun to look back at the end of the year and say, hey, how close did we get? How close did I get? How close did Make Me A Fan get? And what does the world look like December 31st, 2020? So I'm looking forward to that. And I can't wait to watch this in about 12 months and we'll see how we did. So that's gonna do it for Jags Jabs. Please follow us on social media at MakeMeAFan316 and follow yours truly, The Jag, at AKA The Jag. See you tomorrow.